Well, I'm talking with video producer Dave Armstrong and the logo, which does frighten me slightly that it was 1979, 40 years ago since the Manx millennium. And we're talking about today because we, and I, I'm very much involved in this, me and Dave work together. And Christy. And Christy De Haven yeah. on this 1979, yeah. a, a very Manx millennium, which uh, was with Duke Video. I don't know if they've still got any left, but I thought it was perfect to talk I to you about this thing now. I mean, 40 years since that, 20 like years since the video. Seems like yesterday. Oh, it was, it was just, just being reminded of it and the number of people we interviewed, um, mm. some of which sadly are probably no longer with us. Oh yeah, I should really point yeah. out the original stuff was done by uh, Peter yeah. Duke, uh, Peter, yeah. Peter Neal, Peter Neal, Peter Neal and uh, uh, people involved there, and he went around with a very early days video yeah. camera. So we archived, well Paul, I think Paul spent <laughs> oh, God, hours and hours we, and we hours We found it, and archiving. Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, all the low band stuff, yeah. and we put it all into digital. I've recently digitized it, so it's, it's actually been sort of saved for posterity. Good for you. Well, what's good? I mean, it's hopefully outlast us. <laughs> you better do. Planning to be I mean, let's just run a bit. We've got a bit of uh, Tim Day, which is the big moment, the Queen coming over. Yeah, and um, she was in... The Lord of Man. Pink. She was nice. in pink. Pink or rose pink or something like and that. And of course, we, yes. we take it all for granted these things yeah. are all recorded these days. And uh, I mean, yeah, yeah there's film stuff around and that sort of thing, but well, actual the, Manx the product. I think the difference as well at the time, don't forget if that happened today, there'd be a thousand, two thousand, five thousand people with, with yes. cell phones for, you know, someone, everyone filming it. And you'd be filming this on your red camera in, in but, 25 million K. Uh, but at the time, obviously, Peter Neal was was mm. assigned to capture the event yeah and that's really the only record now there'd be a thousand you know it'd be everyone would have a copy of something and and we were very lucky to to come across this project so we thought oh, I, i'm going to try and dip, drip a bit of this out over the next uh, few weeks as we build up to those events from yeah. 40 years ago i so said the yeah. dvd is uh, 20 years old yeah. of course <laughs> <laughs> Who's got DVDs anymore? <laughs> are, there any yeah. are there any shots of you on it? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> if there I, what, I, in, I was at Manx Radio in 1979 holding a microphone, I think, probably something, you know, I was well, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I met yeah. the Queen, does that help? So, I I think, do you want to talk to me I about it? I think a younger John Moss is on there. Oh, yes. Yes. It's, it's, it's yeah. incredible. Um, w these things, keeping them, archiving them, it's so important, right? Yeah, you forget. And I, th I think uh, I'm doing a couple of projects at the moment which involve archived material. And people at the time never realized how important it was. Mm. Doing a project on, say, uh, oh, the Laxey, Laxey Mines project. So looking for archived photographs. And of course, at the time, people just thought, well, it's the mine, it's just down the road. Why do we need to photograph it? W you know, and it, it, it's at the time, maybe people didn't realize that in 40 years time, mm. you and me will be sitting here going, wow, 40 years ago, this happened. And there's a record of it happening. Well, there you go. We've seen some shots. We'll see what again. With you, I've got you here. How's the Manx film industry going? Because I mean, there was talk of you know the, all the movie. Was it still dead quiet? You can't talk no, about it. No, we've got a lot of projects. Oh, great! I'm working on at the moment. You never yeah. stop, Dave. <laughs> we've worked together a long time. I mean, yeah. it's like, this guy works twenty four hours a day. Um, there's some really, really exciting projects. Some documentary projects. Um, which I'll share with you in the due course. Due course How exciting time. is things like Netflix for you then? You know, having streaming uh, methods to bypass the, the traditional ball cross. Is that too well, big I a question? No, for this no, no. I think we're very lucky because we produced the Watchmaker film, Watchmaker's mm, Apprentice. You did. And of course, if it had been 10 years ago, we'd have had to probably have approached the sort of traditional broadcasters, the BBC, ITV, maybe even Sky. But having Netflix there as a player in, in that field, meant we could have the have that film on the next Netflix carousel which is obviously a great a great sort of milestone for us yeah but it, it, it it's sort of 20 years ago would it have happened the same way I don't yeah. know would the Manx know. Millennium Project have been on <laughs> Netflix of the day Manx Netflix <laughs> but uh, I, I mean mm. just having a chat now always but Netflix when it first started you, you can find some great stuff yeah. now it's swamped isn't it every day yeah. so much content goes yeah. up surely you it must you but must get lost it, your, your project almost gets lost now uh, yeah Probably, but you know, I, I mean, it's I, yeah, I, I, th I think the the problem for me as a viewer, because uh, I, I try and look at it both as a filmmaker and a viewer, and as a viewer, it's just I don't have the hours in the day to watch enough quality. But there's so much on there, yeah, um, and uh, and I don't know really where it's going to end. Obviously, there's a big competition at the moment between the big players and Disney and Amazon and Netflix. But the good thing is for filmmakers, I wouldn't say they're throwing money at projects but oh, they are they throwing are throwing, throwing projects yeah. but uh, obviously the quality is so high I mean the bar is very high yeah you and and 
and the you can sort of see trends in the genre of projects that are and productions that are coming through and the, 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 the projects that we're working on at the moment, hopefully we'll find a place in there and we'll tell you about them. And Iron Man Film Festival on this year, I know some years it's, it's right to the wire because you, you get your funding, I'll, are we on or off? Or is it still? I'll talk to you about okay, that. Okay, there you go, that's exactly how I I'll thought. I'll talk to you about that if people at another time. Uh, if people want to yeah. fund the film festival, you'd like your phone to be ringing? <laughs> See? Yeah, well, yes, we're, we're, t we're talking to partners. Oh, you are? Okay. We are talking to partners at Good. the moment. But it's... Right. it's 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 a good time to be in this business yeah it's still hard and you've still got to come up with the goods it's not just shake a tree and <laughs> ideas will fall dave armstrong the man that got me into television profile i should be behind the i know i'm sorry face of radio sorry about that ladies and gentlemen unbelievable <laughs> that's what i've got to work with <laughs>